Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bowhunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovic. Today we're going to make some yak grips uh, for our tree stand covers. As you can see here on my rig, uh, let me see here. You can see I use them on my buckles. Okay, so every one of them are on there. I also have it here on my tree stand buckle. But hear that? Okay, doesn't make any noise when they hit anything. There's no noise factor to those, and uh, I love them. They hold up. They those last just about the same time. I got to replace these as when I got to replace the whole set. So, um, so they work really good. Um, but when you cut them in half, which one grip will make two buckles, you can see you got to put a little stitch on the end of that there kind of thing. So that's kind of what we're going to show you today because I have a new, uh, the new B stand is on its way today. I'm waiting. It should have been here already. It's already quarter to five. I'm hoping this UPS guy gets here and uh, delivers it. But I'm excited to test that out while I'm waiting. I am going to be making new yak grips for it. And then these are the backpack straps that I use. I use them on all my stands. Uh, they are these Allen ones. They are not expensive. They're like seven or eight bucks. Uh, but I love them because I don't carry my stand in. It stays on my pack. Um, but I just use these to get up and down the tree. But I like these because they don't stick to my clothes. God, mosquitoes are crushing, biting my head like crazy here. Um, but they don't stick to my jacket like rubber ones or anything like that. They're just, uh, they, they're, they're just cheap, perfect, and effective. And uh, that's what I have right here. So these are ready to go on that beef stand when it gets here. And the yak grips are right here too that we are going to uh, make one of these by cutting one in half and setting it up. So I'm going to put you on a tripod. I'll bring you in here. Let's come in and uh, we can probably do this all in one shot here. Let me see if I can pop this. Hold on. If I put that there and twist you in. Are we still recording? We are. Perfect. Good. All right. So now what we got to do here with this is when we open this yak grip up, um, we have got to, uh, where are we at? All right. So when we open these, the yak grip itself has got this seam that runs down here all this sit stitching seam that's a great thing but i'm going to cut this in half to get two buckles out of this when i cut that in half these are i'm going to cut through that thread so i'm going to want to restitch each of those threads over there just a touch to make them good so first thing we want to do got my little sewing kit here and stuff so we only need one of these let's see how long i think these are uh so we are five and a half inches so we're going to go two and three quarter inches right there and uh, that is basically where we're going to cut it. And I have a razor blade right here. So we figure we want to be uh, two and three quarter inches. So we're looking kind of like right here like this. That's going to be my halfway mark. And we're going to cut right through that. And I'm going to cut right through it this way. So we're all the way through. And we're just going to cut her in half. Woohoo! There we go. Make sure that's good. There it is. So that's now we have two yak grip uh, where you had on the phone here. There we go. So we got two buckle covers, but this will pull apart. You can see if I start pulling on that, that seam, because I cut through there, it's going to come apart. So we're going to use, you can use thread or whatever you want. I have a lot of this fast flight serving stuff here. I buy tons of this stuff and I use it more. I use it, I don't even serve my strings with it anymore. Now I mainly use it for this kind of thing. So we're going to take a piece of this about yay long ish. I'm guessing no rocket science to this, but I'm going to cut that and I'm going to feed it through my needle. Ugh, mosquitoes are... You know what? I'm putting on a little bit of this propel because the skeeters here are really in the garage today are driving me nuts. Well, there we go. So now we have insect repellent on. Okay, so back to this. So now we're going to take that and I'm going to just thread that in there if I can. Come on, pop in there. We'll fast forward through this part, obviously, for you, because this this is exhausting. Let's see if we can get that a little bit with a lighter and maybe hit that and then just straighten it flat like this. Just a quick and flat. There we go. Now, let's push that through that needle. And, of course, it's going to give me fits. Come on. See if we can get it to go into there. There we go. Got her. All right. So now we got that on there. And then, uh, again, I'm no professional sewer, so mine is not rocket science, and it doesn't have to be. All it has to do is keep this thing together. That's all we're looking for. So I'm putting a knot in there like that. I'm going to cut the end of this knot off on here just like that so it's good. I'm going to hit that with just a touch to melt that in. There it is. There's my end of that right there. And then I'm going to just stitch right over that. 
just to keep it look at those mosquitoes they're eating me up like crazy here so all i'm going to do is just start somewhere like about right here even we'll start here and go backwards but i'm just pushing it through oh man the mosquitoes right now are just insane i don't know why but we're going through that way get that whole thread through like that and we're going to go back through we're just basically making sure trying to almost kind of follow the same stitch line doesn't matter don't don't you know overthink this part just push it through and just sew it just to keep it so that it's not going to come back apart that's our goal just to keep it so that it can't open up on there if you need to you can use a pair of pliers to grab this with if you're using something stiff here but that's all we're doing you can go through it like i am or you can go over top i actually do both if when i'm not swatting 600 million mosquitoes but we'll pull it through like that. And then, so you get a few of these in, and then I'm going to go, like, when we get over here, I'll come back and go through the top. But just keeping it from coming apart on that end because you cut that stitch. That's the whole goal of what we're doing here. Does not have to be pretty. All it has to do is be functional. Like so. Now, if you want to go backwards and go, we'll go one more, then I'll go over top. So let's push this one in through here. And like I said, if it's hard to pull on this, you can use a pair of pliers. Now, if I want to go over, so those were going through, you can see those stitches. You go right in along through there on both sides. Okay, that's holding that good. But now if I want to go over, instead of going back and forth through, I'm going to come through over top. Then I'm going to push it through. And just fighting a needle, snagging on there. There we go. Hang on, let's make sure we're evened out. Like that. You can see how that stitch goes over top. So like that. And then I can come in and go do another one right here. We just wrap them right over the top of it. Like that. Put another one in there. And again, our old goal, whole goal to all this is to keep that so that it's not going to reopen up on there for you. That's all you're trying to accomplish. Like I said, I'll probably just speed up a little bit of this as you got the idea, but just keep right on going through it. There we go. And we'll put one more in there. Okay. Come on. So that basically ends up being what we're looking at. Just something that's stitched through and over and locking it in. Now I'm going to go back one more and then we're going to tie this one. So as I come through it like this, I come in. Now before... I pull this all the way through as soon as I get that needle out of there. There we go. Now I'm going to just feed it back through this whole section right here. Where's my side? So I'm evened out. Right here, I'm going to go back through this with the needle. So I'm taking that needle, pushing it back through once, pushing it back through twice. Now when I pull that tight, we're going to knot that off right there. That ends up giving us that knot we're looking for. And that's how you do it. That seals it. And I'm going to take my thing right here to cut it. Then I'm going to heat that and just dab it in when it's good and hot and melted. And boom. There it is. That there is a yak grip cover. That's how we make it. Right there like that. Now do the same thing to this one just to have it ready. But that is the process. And then you're going to slide this right over your buckles. And let me pop this off of here. And this is what you're going to end up with so that it is locked in, protected, not going to make any noise on there. If I loosen this one up, I can't because it's all twisted together, but you can hear that on there. Like I said, no noise. It's completely quiet. When you hit that buckle, there's no noise on any of them, and uh, they work fantastic. Now, a thing to note. When you do this, it's best to do it now in the off-season because when you put this yak grip on your buckle... Um, that's neoprene. It's going to be pretty tight at first. So trying to loosen and draw your straps and your buckles in the beginning for the first uh, 
say 30 or 40 times that you're going to tighten and pull that strap, it's going to be pretty stiff. Okay, but after that, it will loosen up on you completely and get real easy. But in, but do it now so you can put them on there so they get a little time to stretch and you can, you know, put it on and off a tree a few times and make it easy. If you don't, you do it right before the season. First time you go out to hunt, it will still work, but it is going to be stiff to pull that strap at first because that strap is coming through. You can see here, oh, I, hang on here, let me see if I can get one where it's loose enough that I can, so right here, you can see that this strap is running against, that buckle right here is holding against this strap, okay? They're pressing together right there. So for the first couple times you do it, as you go to tighten and loosen this strap up, uh, it's it's a little stiff, but it will loosen up on you very quickly. And uh, like I said, I've never seen anything better or anything last as long as for buckle covers. Now there's some things out there too that I have not tried, like the Stealth Strips has got buckle covers. There's some options, but these... They're dirt cheap. They're very effective. You saw it took me about five minutes to actually make that. And uh, like I said, they last for a long time. One set of yak grips right here will yield four buckle covers. So you get a two pack and you end up with one, two, three, and four, which for me is perfect. So that $12 set of yak grips, which I'll have links below for you, will do my three sticks and my stand all in one set with just one package of yak grips, which makes life super, super easy for me and a fantastic system. So, all right, there you go. Thanks for watching. Quick little tip for you on how to do it. And to slide them on, you just slide them right over the buckle. I can actually show you that here if you want. I have, uh, if I do have a strap, let me relock you in the tripod. So we're set. Let me make sure you can see. Uh, so like, for example, here is, one of the beast stand sticks or straps right here. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is take this yak grip We're gonna feed it onto here like this And we're just gonna work this right over this buckle. Okay, this is all it's gonna be just working this right on It's just gonna slide right on it takes a little wiggling at first. Okay But that's it just wiggle it right on onto the, uh, see now this part right here. See how this is? When I cover this with this yak grip, it is going to make that a little harder to pull that through. It will get very easy quickly, but you do take a little practice here. Because like I said, you can see it's, it's pretty stiff right there to even get your finger under that. You know, to pull that up. They're, they're a pretty tight fit with the neoprene here in the beginning. But that's it right there. Just yank it on. Wiggle it over. And actually, I grabbed the wrong one. I should be using this one because this one I don't have seen, sewn. See, it's popping apart. So we're going to take this one back off till I actually get that one sewn. But you see how that concept works. Sweet and easy. Just pull it right over the grip or the buckle, and you're all done. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. All right. Bye.